end up dying like six, seven times in the lane, but the idea is you actually get a lane swap going with it instead, and then Lula can start roaming around the map and join in for these early team fights and, and potentially even set up some gap if he wants to. Or there could also be a telework behind from the level 4 Aurelia. Top lane TP, Yellow Star is in trouble here. There's the auto attacks coming in, and first blood comes down for Zazas. And it had to be somewhat obvious that, surely? One with the dragon, so it's a good call here because there's two members from Rocket in top side. But they might be able to take a tower. There's Teleport for Source, but he's busy doing the dragon. There's nobody else helping Cyanide. Dragon down to half HP and Rocket. We've seen it before, they'll quite happily trade these turrets for dragons. And he's going to be going over to Fnatic. And actually, the tower didn't go down. And about a third of its health remaining. So it's so probably pretty happy sitting on Cassidy for now. But it does mean they couldn't actually take the mid tower. Oh, a bit of a back and forth. Yellow Star taking a lot of damage there. That bubble might have been a death. And it might still be a death. Yanko stealthed it up, goes in. Tidal Wave's going to knock him up. Oh, wild growth for the last second from Yellow Star. Keeps him thing. alive. They could be coming down for this one. Peke off to the side. Who's his target? He gets exhausted. Could finish up Banda straight away. So as gets bubbled up. There's a jump in from Yankos. Can they get any more? They decide against it with Dragon up. Reckless on the bottom side. Oh, they flash. They're going for him. Overpower on top of him. Reckless damaging Selva. Gets a kill. Can he actually get away? He can't. He's Finished off by Yankos. That's a three for two, though, in favor of Rockat, and they're going Dragon. But look here, up in the top lane, Zazas, he didn't even join for the fight. He had Teleport. He was just sitting there, pushing the lane. He's going to get the tower. Dragon might as well also go over to Rocket. He actually, no, they decide to jump for Pekka. And he's actually going to get a kill for it. That was all a little bit strange. <laughs> but, you know, kill for And remember, they do have double Teleport. Where only Soros on the other side has a global. Yanko's actually jumping in. Sana was waiting for him in the bush. Oh, a little bit dangerous finding three, but they're gonna go towards Reckless. Sana dives in for that one. Sana coming from the back, gets the knockup. Cataclysm as well. There's a kill for Reckless. This is gonna be a double kill. And just like that, Rocket dive in for the fight. End up with three against them. And a double go. Into the late game. And then Reckless, of course, gonna be the other option, but he's gonna be stealth and jumping around. But Rocket definitely has the tool to die at the backline of Fnatic and pick up the kill. Oh, so as at the front of this one, and they are going to try and get it on towards the dragon. It goes over to Fnatic. No, so as where is he going to go? Trying to protect Peke up on the top side, but reckless at the back, doing a lot of damage. He's run away. Overpower going to dive in, going for Yellow Star. He gets both the Stan United and the Wild Growth, but Cyanide dunks down, and there are the kills coming the way of Fnatic. One for Reckless, one for Cyanide. That's a two for nothing overall. Four here, Shen. And Irelia keeping that TP intact. There is the first teleport coming down. It'll be Shen that joins in, gets bubbled up straight away. Not like you're going to do much damage to him when he comes through with a spirit visage with a warden's mail with a sunfire. There is the dragon. He goes over to Fnatic. Yankos stunned against the wall and finished off by Reckless, who's now on a rampage. Who's Cyanide going to go for? He's got Cataclysm. He's got off. Told him during game one to sit around the corner here. Expecker can do his uh, acting once again, <laughs> where it looks like he's actually hitting the Baron. He's actually doing it. Once again, just hitting his own teammates, and he's alive. Alive. Alive because of the protection here from the rest of the team. Wild growth. Give that man an Oscar. Man. And Stan United come in. Peke, best actor world, and they're going to go straight on towards Baron. However, Overpower's still here. He's going to have to be the man that causes them the problems. Although Celebre taking jumps out of everyone. Overpower dives into the middle. Where's the Baron going? He goes to Fnatic, but the kills are going Rockout's way there. Overpower managed to take down Peke. Celebre going unchecked as Reckless will actually have to back away. They get another one. Here now. comes Yankos on the side. They get so high. They're going to get Cyanide as well. And Overpower keeps chasing. Yellow Star, the next target. It's an easy kill for Yankos. Double for him. And four men go down. Fnatic got the Baron, but they're still being chased here. Can they get on to Reckless? I don't think they can. I don't think Overpower's going to be able to jump far enough for this. Once Yankos has actually gone home, he's going to heal back up and he's going to come back to try and help his team defend this final turret that's left up. 
outside of the bases there is Zaza's taking a big chunk however the turret doesn't go down and the poke back is actually pretty strong and you know what Rock and Watkins will get this one that's a lot of damage towards the other side they knock up Cyanide so as though he gets a ton but it's only on the support I'm not sure that's enough so as in trouble here as the voice back slow him down there is a wild throw Cyanide is actually going to be in trouble inside of his own cataclysm and he's going to fall as well oh no so as came in right at the last second which means he died resets galore for Rock can they get yellow stone? More. They do. Zazas goes in. Reckless goes down. It's a triple kill for Rockat. Peke is trying his best to run, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to manage it. They're going to go straight into the direction of the base. Peke does fall. It's an ace in the end. And Selva really cleaning house. And either you commit to end up joining Silent there, end up dying because he was so low, and then you just see Rocket keep chasing. They get the ace. And that was all about Fnatic trying to take the tower down the bottom lane, tried to poke onto Rock. There is a lot of engage potential, especially from uh, actually on both sides. And Yellow Star, you are caught out of position. Yeah, this is not exactly ideal. Actually, uses Celebrate the wire growth. Celebrate is nowhere near them. We're seeing the TPs coming in. Actually, was he stand united on towards Cyanide? Can they get away from this one? Yankos will jump. Celebrate is now there. Peke going to kill off over Polo. But oh, there is Celebrate. Gets one. Can then jump away from the Cataclysm. And look at the damage onto Cyanide as well. Now they focus towards Soaz. He's going to get slowed down. Reckless is trying to run away. Randuin Zoman will be used. Yellow Star and Cyanide are useless there inside of the Baron Pit. But it looks like they've done enough here to get them away. Or at least some of them will get away. Looks like Yellow Star yeah, will just track down. Game and eventually will die. There we finally go. Slowed down by the Void Spikes, and this is Baron going over to Rockat. It was actually a two for one in favor of Rockat there. Yes, they lost the overpower, but they get the Baron, and that right there is gonna level this game up. And these team fights here, Fnatic is never able to... And the Mikhailis as well from Vander here. If Celebrate had gone down there, Fnatic was gonna look for more kills still. Not exactly easy to chase when there is all the slows coming in from Rocket as well. And if we look at Sullivan now, we'll see what go down. Unless Regus and Soas can kill Opa and Zazas here, it should be Baron for Rocket. Right. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure about oh, this yep, one. There's a wild too. growth coming in. Zazas is going to go really low. He's surely going to get his GA poke. Overpower says, peace out, brother. I'm leaving you alone for this one. You're not going to be able to escape, but I'm not going to go down. In the meantime, though, Rockhart using the fact that Fnatic had moved over to that bottom lane to secure Baron. A lot of memory. He's going to be like a flash torn out of Shen. I mean, even the flash cataclysm from uh, Cyanide or... not doing enough there. It could be that, and they are going to go in for it. Cyanide here, going to be pressured. He goes low. Wild Growth will be using him. Reckless is out of position. He's blown to pieces. That's surely it here for Rockhead. It's a double kill coming out for Selva. He's still at full HP. After all this has happened on the top side, Peke goes down. Overpower will use the Zonias. In the end, it's a triple for Selva. They're going to push through this one with the ace, and Rockhead wins game number four it's all down to the final game of the day I man what a game here especially from Celebar. late game it was all about him every single team fight he stayed alive kept his positioning there was one time where he was very very close to dying rocket managed to disengage returned to the base of fanatic and just won the next few fights took the game here but what a crazy game i mean start of the game rocket were ahead and Fnatic got the goal lead because there were some mistakes from Rocket here, but they gave up a lot of kills, gave up Dragons as well. And then Fnatic tried to push the tower down the bottom lane, took too much poke, and then we just saw their chase potential of the Rocket comp here, and they just ran over them, got the ace, didn't even look back. I mean, ever since that ace in the bottom lane, it was just a one-way ticket. And we were at that point where... Happy Veggie is happy again, by the way. Uh, Reckless in the position that he was in. Doesn't matter if he...